Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Yeah, we're, oh, I keep forgetting to change the bitrate settings. <laughs> oh, well, the bitrate's not going to be... I can't change it midstream, can I? Stream appears to be working, though. Can I change the settings midstream? Oh, I can. All right, well, I don't know. <laughs> Twitch best bitrate. Best bit rate. <laughs> it's hang on. Twitch urges streamers to use 720. Is that right? Bit rate of uh, hang on, hang on. Twitch server chat output streaming output a bit rate. All right, let's diff. So we reduce the bit rate significantly, basically. Um, I think someone said I could do 6k. Let's see how that goes. That should improve the bit rate a little bit. Um, hey, Justin, howdy, howdy, doing all right. We are, if it's not already obvious, we're getting back into Cyberpunk. <laughs> um, here's the funny thing. I decided to give it like a second chance, uh, once the 2.0 patch came out and yeah, I've been, I've been, in, I'm only like, you know, like two or so hours in, but I've been enjoying it. Have I watched the 2008 Dane Cannon movie, The Adventures of Food Boy? I've never even heard of The Adventures of Food Boy. A teenager named Ezra Chase decided to discover he has the superpower to make food appear out of thin air. However, chaos follows. It's like a Wikipedia summary right there. Um, no, I've never even heard of that one, but I'm sure it, it, it's giving like 80s, 90s vibes. Anyway, Cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, so the 2.0 patch came out. F turns out, actually, I wasn't positive what all had been added or changed, but there's a sum uh, summary right here. Funny enough, 2.01 has dropped since I've started playing. Uh, the 2.0 patch, a new dawn in Night City, unleash your inner road rage. So now I was wondering, because before you couldn't shoot from your car, now you can shoot weapons and activate cyberware from the comfort of your own vehicle. So quick hacks um, on other vehicles, watch out for rides that have their own mounted weapons. So they've added that like Mad Max Ian combat to it. Adventures of Food Boy starring... Lucas Grebeel from High School Musical. I've never even seen High School Musical. But I'm seeing, like, if, if Sweet Life, High School Musical, and all that's involved, I could easily see it being a... like a, like a Disney-esque joint, like a Disney Channel joint. Neat. And on this chat coming through in the stream. I, I was going to make sure this is working properly. It's working. Okay, yes, it is. So let me just scooch that over. Perfect, okay. Cool. Justin coming in with that movie trivia. Oh, yeah, I do know George Miller was the director and producer of... Yeah, I know the Happy Feet movies in Mad Max, yeah. So wait, was George... Are you saying George Miller was also involved in the uh, Adventures of Food Boy? Or are you just saying... Just kind of going off of that into George Miller. I do, I do really enjoy George Miller's work. Anyway, I don't want not to keep getting too distracted. Um, so apparently, Night City's law enforcers, basically the AI on them is like even more severe, which explains me trying to to, to fuck around and find out in the last stream. Uh, new skill tree, basically perks got better. Put your skills to the test, so you can up your cyberware and get even more perks if I can remember to even use them. And now there's encounters in premier interactions with, uh, test out all my abilities. I just, the, the, the problem is I keep forgetting about all my abilities. The two Babe movies. I think I've seen the first Babe. Like I've seen Babe Pig in the City. I don't know if I saw the second Babe movie, but anyway, so we are technically only two and a half hours hey, in. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? <gasps> Kujira. Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. So my plan is it can't be a too long of a stream today. I got some plans coming up. I'll have to be vamoose in this caboose for. Also, what is with my my video? Like it's man, this is the I'm like it's like a slice of me right here. Green screen's not perfect either, but I'm too lazy to change it. I, I gotta toy with my settings when I get the chance. That's fine. 
Have you watched... Was it Legion? No, I've not seen Legion. I remember seeing the posters and trailers for Legion. There's that scene with like the, the demonic granny, if I recall correctly. Um, not going to be too long of a stream, but I'm going to be... I, I think I'm at least going to get through the... We got the opening like prologue, but I think the, the mission where it all goes to shit will probably get through that. But it's fun playing a different character and the female version of V. Playing everything just a little bit differently, basically. I've not seen Legion or the TV sequel show Dominion. So how heavily do I want to invest in... Yes, yeah, see, Assault in Progress. I'm afraid if I try to help the cops, I'm going to get my shit rocked. Um, I think we should just fast travel. Nice. Uh, let's just go to completed gigs, Regina Jones. Probably just head for Lizzie's bar, right? Cyber psycho sighting. Plus I have it on the, I have it on the hardest difficulty. If it proves too difficult, I'll probably knock it down a peg, but it's been fine so far. Let's just start driving. <laughs> and it's right. Ah, oh, it's right. Oh, you can select which vehicle to call. Cool. A hundred meters? Jesus, why? <laughs> Have you ever listened to the song So Believe? I, when it comes to music trivia, I am ass at music trivia. Bro, where's my car going? <laughs> can you come right here? Where, where, where is it? What, what, what? what? <laughs> where's my car? Dude, where's my car? Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. Wait. Okay, it's a lot better. I was like, what the hell? So how is it? Oh, I'm... Yeah, this is an entirely new playthrough. Per the developers, they said, they, they recommended, they said, hey, if you're gonna do this, like, do a new save file, which is what I've been doing, so... What the fuck? <laughs> Never mind, the game's ass. <laughs> I hate it. It's terrible. Uh, no, I can tell there's significant improvements. Most important part so far, no crashes yet. Yet, no crashes. But I'm going through with female V. Um, instead of being a corpo, I'm a, like, a city kid. I want to be bold and brash, but still with all, like, rough around the edges with a heart of gold is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that dude wears my car. I, I have seen that movie a long time ago. You're all right, but I already played through it. So, uh, through it, so I don't know. Oh, I gotcha. I haven't played it since you started following me on Twitch. Like, I, I hadn't picked up the, the game in years, literally. But with the 2.0 patch, as well as the Phantom Liberty, I almost said Phantom Pain, the Phantom Liberty DLC, I was like, you know what? Let's give it one more go. And I can, I'm, and there's notable improvements so far. Like, I, there's still, there was like one graphical error, but aside from that, it's been fine. I still gotta get used to this driving. Hello? Can I get out of my car? Oh, there we go. But yeah, I can tell they made some improvements. They re-upped the skill tree and things seem a little bit more sm like smoother. I got the free upgrade to PS5, so... I mean, right now this is like with, um... I think what, ray tracing is on? Yeah, it's on. And like, I, I have the motion blur and whatnot turned off, but it's fine so far. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was on PS5 the first time I played, but it was the PS4 copy, but now it's the free PS5 upgrade. Dude, where's my car quote? And then I'm going to come in there. I'm going to put my foot in your ass as if you were there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, where's my car? Uh, that's a fun watch. We're closed right now. Oh, that's right. Six o'clock. Let me just hunker behind my car and wait. Uh, for one hour, you can't let me in one hour ahead of time. Uh, just till 6.07. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the thing, is that I... What, Bart Moss, what? Bart Moss Collective. First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Anarchists, huh? Yeah, when I first played this, it was the PS4 copy on PS5, and... Because I streamed through the PS5, whenever the game would crash, it w I had to like reset my PS5 entirely. Can't even imagine the PS4 version then. Maybe that's better too. I don't know. They've been spending the last three years like working on this to make sure it works properly. Hey there, properly. Dollface. Sup? Interest you in a preem BD? 
What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Synapses. Think you can handle it? Always. Bespoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. I also, I, I have vague memories and recollections of my first playthrough. I like how when you play as a, as a, as a, as a gal throughout, you're, you're, you're talked to and treated differently by certain people. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know. I'm a rough mm -hmm. and tough street Doors kid. Doors open. Sick. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Thanks. Yeah, we gonna fuck to death? We gonna fuck to death? Streaming. <laughs> Unauthorized recording. Reported. Hey now, you the, the bigger question is not, is it okay to stream in here? The bigger question is, are you a narc? Dude, you just mag- Dude, what a job! Magging on some fries at the counter. Hell yeah. I like your style, kid. Alright. Pretty doctor already. Yeah, <laughs> no surprise there. Sit at the bar, ask about Evelyn. Oh yeah, real low key. Hey fellas, how the brain dance is playing out? Oh 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 my man, <laughs> my man is feeling it. All right, enough enough. Oh, Fucking around. Oh oh my girls, there's Lizzie and there's Ruby. Regular scan results. Wanted in Night City. You won't tell me who she is though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to romance, uh, I think it's her. I'm gonna try to romance her, probably. I would not want to do a brain dance in public. Uh, this is a very exclusive club. It's out of the public eye, so I think it'll- I'd do one in here, sure. So, Get fucked up and do a brain what dance. Kind of horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Or kinkier? Wax? Maybe electrosex? Zappies? Later, later, ma'am, later. Hey! Get you something. So, curious. The name, Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. He felt so vulnerable. I get right, that. I get that. Short, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. But if they have, like, certain rules in here, it'd be fine. Nah, uh, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Rules and Night City, sort of. good point. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big Boss now is Susie Q. Big Boss. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Hmm. What can I get here? Give, What's me, on the menu? give me a drink, huh? Ingratiate myself. Beer, simple. I'm feel, feeling to go all in for the character. Go Bohemia, 90. Absinthe? Oh, Lord. I feel like she'd get a little bit fucked up before the mission. Maybe some bluegrass? Drown in sorrows, fears, and an uninteresting past? Yeah. Let's get some booze. Consume the booze. Can I not take a drink? That'd be super cool if I could. Um, Backpack. Or the consumables. I just bought. I just bought some absinthe. Where well, there we go. 
Can I drink it? Hell yeah. Nah, I'm looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Hmm. I could, yeah, sure. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Huh, I tried. Hey, ma'am. I knew it was you I was looking for. I thought she was Lizzie, but I guess she's not Lizzie. Evelyn Parker. That's right, Evelyn. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Hmm. The kid. Tequila. Sure. Scents on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Dude, I, I, I don't know what it is about that look, by the we'll way. Be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Like almost, what's the point of wearing a shirt like that if like it's so unbuttoned? But I get it though. It's a, it's a, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I go for it. She's still pitching him. It's nothing's fun. wrong, really. So, do you on Why the don't you side, tell baby? me the truth? I just told you. All right, ma'am. I do love how you can hear the bass and the hum of the music outside of the room. The sound design in this in this game is is incredible. As are the vocal performances. That's one of the highlights of the game for me. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. Oh. I hope he wasn't overselling. <clears throat> Interesting. I'm glad I specked into like cool and uh, savvy and all that. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. Yes, the graphics and animation as well. You have trouble accepting <laughs> when it does work properly. No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Trying to play rough Maybe and tough Dex and cool. is beneath you. Have you known each other long? A couple hours. <laughs> you writing Dex's bio? You writing Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. And he didn't finger me for shit! Huh. Curious. Let's... Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? What do you? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Oh, all the time. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. <laughs> Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? Scream the media sheets. couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Oh, yeah, this is gonna bug me if I don't change it. Sorry to cut off the, the lore, but... At the risk of me becoming a little bit transparent, since I don't have better lighting right now. That should help. 
I think that should... Uh, still, though. God, I gotta improve the... I gotta move my setup around a little bit. It's cramped quarters in here, but I'll, I'll make it work at some point. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like you are Nobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yori Nobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. But Adam huh. Smasher, right? Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. That's right. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. I haven't gotten the DLC yet. I'm going to wait till I get through the campaign again, and then I'll buy and play through the DLC. But I've heard the DLC is really good, even if I'm even for 30 bucks. Like, it's it's really good. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? <clears throat> so what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? Sorry to keep pausing, just want to make sure this sounds fine. Yeah, it sounds fine. All right, cool. That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Easy peasy. Game saves right before the end, so there's no worries about not having the save file for it. That's good. I don't know. I, I mean, I I don't know, like, in the timeline v? where the DLC kind of starts and stops, but... Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? I heard it's like a spy Netwatch trailer. provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win... One has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it the looks relic? like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Or it takes place during the campaign. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? He's just like Johnny Silverhand. Irrelevant entirely. Oh, sure. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. I can I pay attention with the dancer in front of me. I, I'm, I'm part of a generation that grew up on and currently is still thriving in just, uh, how do I put this, um, casual pornography. So I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And it's just, yeah, nudity. I've seen it. <laughs> Listen, V, the relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Sounds good. Okay, what's next? 
Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception. In other words, already fat. Always. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious yeah. interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Oh, the detail that goes into the world. I almost forgot about it. Oh, the club. Out the back, I assume. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Just business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Judy! Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Of course. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. Okay. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Copy that. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Yes, mommy. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hello? I can't quite read that. There's pages of script everywhere, though. If hey, I recall, she makes brain dances. We weren't finished. My bad. I'm sorry. <clears throat> What's up? Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. There you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Concept is BD of a woman given birth. Nobody's done it yet. Have to hook up a prenatal wreath. Oh shit, did I miss the fucking Oh well. That that's kind of a glitch though, where the timer counted out while I was reading this. Common dreams, compilation, two BD scrolled by two actors, neural track setups so it looks like one BD. Hey Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to she do. She dies, if I recall. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. Deep inside. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. I believe it. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. <laughs> Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Oh, so far, not so hostile or aggressive. That's good. I think, again, she treats you differently if you're, oh, a gal versus a guy. Which, I like the attention to detail there. Sit. Okay. Even the detail in this, like, all the peeling off, like, bits of, like, the chair, the leather, or whatever. All the cracks. This is the one of the convenience store robbery, right? Which also serves as the brain dance tutorial. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Ah! It's mm -hmm. like... 
I'm looking at Judy. No problem at all. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily. Yeah. Oh no, she is gay. Yeah. It's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD is. Why she didn't go for male V in my playthrough, but One I'm gonna crush sec. on her, I think. To get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. She's Where pacing nervously. We... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we yeah, don't see, risk she's our nervous. necks. Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up. That's right. Yeah, I remember this. Real bit. amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Just a quick little mm -hmm. refresher course. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. And we'll jump into editing mode. Gotta turn on sandbox. Diving in. Creative mode. Three, two, Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Thanks. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, Ooh. or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, no, now, just doing a Rubik's. Before I blow your fucking head off. Yeah, I wish the brain dances were more frequent. Yeah, yeah, I get, to, I get that. I was Slow, murderized. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. It's like this Nothing detective happened. mode. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could warn me how much it hurts to die. Hmm. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. How would you know? Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. All right, pull up iMovie. <laughs> Premiere Pro, whatever your Pick your poison. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to Plan unpause. Simple. Do Try nothing it. odd. Don't creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Got it, got it. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Ah, good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You go Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the Enviro recorded by the BD. Enviro. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Plan scan simple. It. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You don't need special cash. Yeah. Who psycho freaks from the studio? Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. That's why I asked for a weekend friend tonight. Okay, right here. Okay. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track. Oh, that's right. They shows up on the recording track. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. 
This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Sick. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? <laughs> so, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. I could be we'll a brain dance editor in another time. Switch to the visual layer. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Hell and I. Life is the strange over here. <laughs> on the ground! I wanna see you kissing the fort! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Did he even hand anything over? Oh, yeah, okay, he did. Okay. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Oh Probably no! Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Love all the terminology anyway, and world building they have. Enough, you can exit. Yeah, I'm good. Whoa. I was about to say hello. <laughs> Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Mm. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Yep. I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Well, she's not gonna like Think that. I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why, cause you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Sure. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Mm -hmm. Someone there with you? Unimportant bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, yeah, you've no got need to, to drop access. names right now. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Salsa.
Oh, she gave away the name at the end there, but you know, is what it is. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. Scan the apartment security. Watch the whole recording from Evelyn's point of view. Oh, you fuck out. Like fuck. Fuck. Right, so I, I, I was trying to do the quote. Is <laughs> it so just, ugh. But uh, I fucked it up. Also, uh, after watching Edge Runners, fuck this guy. Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. A cut of fuckable meat. No. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Well, I want to watch the whole thing from her point of view. Hang on. Finish. We shall see soon enough. I forget if you get more experience for like doing the optional objectives. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. We'll listen to this. Take the nerves off Sabo a little bit. Is an adult Take the guest. edge off rather. Champagne's Partly decent. Removed from reality. The taste boosted somehow? Stuck in nope. some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real exists. Space soon. Hmm. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. So, I do like the shirt. Not it. In hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Give me a second. I'm trying to enjoy the brain dance. Uh. Hey. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Gotta set the mood a little bit. Very nice, but come here already. Uh, pain is Just a sec. <laughs> Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. What love is? <laughs> Until you learn the meaning of falling in love with you. Until Look, it. It's like I'm really. Be eye on the prize. Focus. <laughs> well, I'm about to get down. Warikome. All right, that was the whole recording, huh? Okay, so scan the apartment security system first of all. Mokiro out. I'll fuck him, I'll fuck him, I'll fuck him. That's Adam Smasher, right? Data, military grade cyborg detected. 96% cybernetic modifications. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Smasher. Barely any, like, person left at that point. Uh, okay, from here. Motion sensor camera. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. <laughs> Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Mm -hmm. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Are you? See you. No. 
But make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the reason. My father's a tired, visualless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. In a Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. It's in there. Look for them. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Here, bring me back over there real quick. Anything? What, nothing over here? Really? Thought for sure. Another camera. There we go. Scan his data pad while while it's turned on. What over here? Scan results. Liberty. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're oh, the there, gun. Don't forget about that iron. Gun called Liberty. I'll pick that up while I'm in there. And the visual. Li Wait, did I miss the iPad? I guess he was holding it, right? Wait for him to turn around. Yeah, because it's right there. I can't scan that. Oh, in the in the visual. No, in the visual layer. Yeah, that's it. Focus. Uh. I'm confused. Oh, another automated turret. Automated oh, I turrets. See. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are go. linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. All right. Can't get around them ourselves. Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Then we go. Oh, okay, got cool. any candy left? There we go. Now his data pad. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Yep, I already know. Whoops. Wait, what? What did you pick up? Hello? Oh, I see, AC. <laughs> Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Oh, we already know. Not there either. 
champagne and ice bucket. Oh, Donaghy's. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? <laughs> no way. Tim's too low. It's Could here. fluctuate. Nice try, though. Oh. Oh, is it right? Oh, that's right. We hide Just in that wall, but it's... Oh, it's Chip in the... doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Or is there a hatch? It's been a while. I know that we end up hiding in there. You can even see the... the... the drafts on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I love that shit. It's the detail. Oh, there it is. Hidden safe. There we go. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. First time, how far you did I get? I beat the game here. first time Guaranteed. around. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got it. In my first playthrough, I played a corpo, and my plot was... I was going to be mean, but that I couldn't help but be nice. So I was a corpo who basically turned turned to stripes. Um, I ended up romancing Pan Am. I uh, really liked her. And then we ended... Our, like, that playthrough ended with... Uh, how? What was it? I... I ended up going to Arasaka Tower as myself to take down Adam Smasher. And then I forget exactly what happened, but we, at the end, me and Pan Am, like, just, like, like left Night City to go start a new life together. Musician guy. Same with the Corpo, Romance the Musician guy. I forget which one's the Musician guy. Everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Cool. But I'm curious how to go if I romance, uh... Get everything you need? Judy. Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never there's also the detective, if I recall correctly. I know there's a lot of different options, like which way to go. Hey. All right, Judy. <laughs> Making me blush over here. Secret ending was too hard. I'll put it on I only got tab. one ending so far. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? What's up? Walking, talking corpses. Thanks, Jude. Jutes. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. Pan Am ending's probably the best. The BD yeah, honestly, will be the solid. death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Cap. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Mm. Course, 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 course. We're talking a bit. All right. Pleasure to meet you, Judes. Officer Hops. <laughs> v, let's walk. Well, what do you think? Think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. True. So it's just yeah, about poor the Evelyn, sex. for real, for real. Biz, and biz only. But it's the world we live in. That's Night City. Like it either. It's in what you ends one of two ways. You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides. Even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? 
or a little bedroom plaything. That's exactly who I would check first. Are you kidding me? Intel on your Nobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Wins are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. Oh, funny. V. Funny thing about that. I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Sure, 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 sure. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something. I mean, I don't like Dex either, but still. Dex is a middleman. And useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. Yeah. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart. Doesn't matter. Mistake like that'll cost you your rep. Mm -hmm. And without a rep, you're nobody. Exactly. I'm not a, I'm not a sure rat. I'm sure you want to do this. Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend Do you overnight? want to spend the rest of your life your choice. bullseye and womp rats in your T-16? Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay. For sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. Got concern. Got worried I about can my rep. fifty percent. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. Assuming it all goes I'll be over finished. well. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town, but my offer is the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. What? If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Level up and street cred. One and one. Um, yeah, I, I've, so my op, so just for um, reference, I've been specking fully into cool and reflexes for sure. Um, not going to worry too much about strength this run through. Uh, and I'm like, like uh, intelligence. I mean, I'm street smart. I don't know if I need smart smart. Uh, tech abilities, reflexes. Uh, let me see what I got here. Movement speed while crouched. Higher mitigation chance. Crouched and not moving when aiming from cover. Unexposed. I do want to kind of be like a stealthy girl. Knives, axes, and silenced guns outside of combat. I'm probably going to do killer instinct for when I do get a, a whatchamacallit, like a silenced, a silenced weapon. That's a good idea. Landing an attack on an enemy right after they detect you will delay detection from other nearby enemies. Only a throwable weapons. Recovery time. Yeah, I kind of want to go down that path. Uh, I'll do focus next. I like how it lets you refund right from the menu, though. Um, do I want to keep going cool? Ninjutsu. I think so. Because otherwise, I'm just I'm going into reflexes, and that would be dash. <laughs> Faster you move, the harder it is to be shot. Kind of like that. Um, let's let's do a little bit more into reflexes that would kind of even it out. Call Dex. <clears throat> Mr. Deshaun. Things looking, Miss V. Miss V. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T Bug says no chance at that ship without that bot. To work then, Miss V. On it. On to the flathead. <sighs> Call Militech Operative Meredith Stout. I'll definitely give her a call preemptively. How do I? Where's the front door again? Over here, right? Jackie. 
Hola, V. How's it going? What's the status? Met with the client. Played me a beady of the place we're supposed to visit. BD, huh? All right, all right. Just keep me posted. Adios. Are the body gals? Bodyguards aren't here anymore? Watson Horde. Just here to kind of give me an introduction, huh? All right. Well, let's call Meredith. See how that goes. <clears throat> out here start by telling me how you got this number no more than your number heard you misplaced a convoy you shut him up oh. spill what you know don't make me wait no -uh. not on the horn let's meet cut a deal a deal fine first exit off skyline driving towards the nid storm channel under the overpass meet you there Oh, so the meetup is optional. That's right, because she gives us the uh, virus we could install. Let's do the meetup real quick. And then we'll meet with Jackie. I do love the branching, like, even for the main campaign missions, like, you can choose how to approach, like, stealth and smart, bold and brash, or, like, whatever you want to do. Okay, these kids are a little bit floaty. Not like GTA or something, not too tight. But so far, it's handling all right. The biggest problem I had was when I started driving, especially into the city, like pushing the limits. That's when the game would crash. But I mean, right now, like, knock on wood. Ah, see, this is, this is beautiful shit. I love this like cyberpunk shit. So far, it's holding up all right. What's this again? Fast travel? Oh, it just fast travel, okay. I mean, what my loadout is? Pistol, the special pistol I got in stock at home. The tech revolver, which it says fully charged. It'll fire in full auto. I still don't know how to fully charge the damn thing. And then the guillotine submachine gun. I do love the variety and options when you're playing the game. Different approaches. Maelstrom. Oh boy. I'll try the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. If she rolls up and she's like, all right, talk. I'm like, that's a strong arm, yeah. What's up? Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Owie! Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down. Just want to talk. <laughs> Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! <laughs> that fucking thing ready? All set. I feel like I know that voice actress too, I just can't remember what her name is. Now answer my questions. Honestly, forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. <clears throat> just little old me. It's the truth. Stupid. Do a sweep now. What? Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Hm? Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I- Unhand me. Release me. 
So Stout basically raped me because I helped her out. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I remember there's a way that you can, like, tentatively make a deal. And then I think the way that I've, I did it in my playthrough is that I, I got the chip. Like, she helped me. Like, I, I took home the, the metal head. But then I gave her something in return. Like, they swooped in and she got it. She helped me. I helped her not get in trouble. You got stuck in a romance side plot with her? Bro, you can romance... I didn't know you could romance Stout. Her, you can let go. Want to hear what she has to say? Yes, ma'am. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force. But they're expecting payment, so I could go that route, too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Hmm. Nah. -uh. Know what, Stout? My off. Wait, hang on. I forgot that if you say no, the offer goes off the table. That's... It's not romance, it's just sex. Oh, I did do... you. I did romance Stout. I remember that. Yeah, we hooked up in a little seedy motel. I 100% remember that now. Wow. <laughs> Replaying this game after all these years is unlocking some, like, serious memories. One of these years I'll finish Witcher 3. I got as far as Skelligan. I never, I never got farther. My ch my character was gay and he had to have, and he had to have sex with her. Oh no! Oh jeez. Look lively, Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call. That it. Thought you could. Got Calm the fuck Cr Shut your That fucking Boss. Now answer Yep It's the truth Do a Gloves like that now always seem a little bit ineffective This piece of shit Anthony He's finished Witcher 3 I know Is everybody says it's really good Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Back Jerks. Listen, I. <sighs> I took. Un. Her. I need guys who. You could just. Fine. Sounds solid. Someone ring the bell? Was there a postmates or something? Delivery of some kind. So was I expecting multiple deliveries today? Yeah, I'll go pick them up in a second. Enough. I'm in. Encrypted shard. Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under journal in the main menu. Select crack security to unlock its secrets. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Crack security. Real quick while she's right here. Neutralize- removes the malware, makes a copy of the demon affecting the shard. Mm, let's copy the malware, how about that? BD, BD, FF, 5, 5. So copy and remove it, I guess. No, nah, let's just copy it. Try to Property of Militech unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. Fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. So I, uh, cause I, I don't like Maelstrom at all, so I'll, I'll let it probably fuck him up. You're making a mistake. This coast already good as dead. I'll take you down with her. All right, meet up with Jackie. 
So now in my inventory, will it just show it? Backpack. Uh, data bank, miscellaneous, Militech. Act Militech data shard. Credit, cred chip issued by Militech. Malicious tracking software removed. Militech data shard. See, wait, malicious tracking so Oh, malicious tracking software removed. So... I'm confused. Brain dance wreath. So, like, when I... Because I, I chose not to, to remove the malware. Data bank. Militech data shard. But I did choose to... Malicious tracking software remove. I did choose to make a copy of it. That makes no sense. Hang on. I, I gotta look this up. Can you... Cyberpunk... Can you... Copy Militech data shard without removing data? I don't know what the best way to ask this question is. Can't copy. Cracky likes to crack. You can also download them. Crack the security on the data shard. Crack the security will open the brain for a I don't. Let's neutralize the malware. Remove the malware that affects the shard. Solve this one So there's I mean do I go ahead and just like let it happen then? Like it appears that hacking it doesn't like cause it says make a copy of it. I don't know if it actually does anything for, for me personally. Like I don't want to overthink this too much, but like Auto save the pickup, 442, the pickup. I right, here. Let me let me grab those packages that were delivered, and then I might reload one more time and just leave leave the the shard alone. I think I might just do that.
right. Airstream. What's it like supporting Movie Man's chiseled ass? I would not go that far. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let me do one last reload then here. So, because I think I made the exact same mistake the first time I played through, because I thought that it was like for some reason, like if you start the hacking, it's like make a copy but don't remove it, but then it still removes it. So I'm gonna keep the malware on there, which will help us because because in the long run, also like fuck Maelstrom. I don't I don't care about Maelstrom. Especially because, if I recall, they try to dig us over anyway, so... So, one more time. Yeah, I kept the virus on. Yeah, that's what I figure. I do love how you can engage with all this kind of stuff. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Ah! Ready you could for a wall me, bitch? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck. Christ, Meredith. Kept the virus on, then they attacked me, and then Stout sexed me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Shut your trap. Yeah, either way, I think I'm gonna be blowing my way out ready. of the maelstrom joint. Awesome. Now, and yep. It's a do a sweep. Now listen. That guy? Checks up. Listen, I <laughs> I told Shut Un Her I guys could just fine. So cool. You pay with that chip, and that's all no, you gotta take worry data about. Shard. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Yes, ma'am. I try to fuck me anyway. <laughs> that comes You're later. A mistake. This cook's already good as dead. But she'll take you down with her. Sick. So now in my inventory, it should just show up as just what the shard? Yeah, just the, just the data bank. Oh no, you, oh, I see. No, I did make a copy of it because there's the military data shard. Then you can make a copy of the daemon. Okay, so it did actually do what I thought it was going to do. It has the, hmm, it made it, it made it like a, like a copy that was like, um, took the, the malware off or whatever. So is it worth it to make a copy, I wonder? I don't know, hang on. Cyberpunk. <laughs> is it worth it to make Ooh, not bake to make a copy of the Militech data shard. Should you should you crack the Militech data shard? Try neutralize or copy. First is the neutralized malware. It will remove the malware that affects the shard. When you solve this demon, you'll get a reward. The other one is data mine. Copy the malware. You'll be able to make a copy of the shard and store the decrypted message to your shard journal. However, there'll be no reward when solving this. Okay. So if you if you hack it, so basically they're saying there's the you don't have to worry about the combat and the headache of that if you hack it and just give it to Royce. But I don't know about I don't want to no, no I don't know about that. I think I have my path set out in front of me. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Was that a little mile per hour counter always there? I don't recall. to the limits. All right, game. Can you handle Night City? <laughs> so far, so good. Whoops. I forget. Is there an E-brake? It's been a minute. Is it X? 
Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Slow down, Maurice. I'm sorry. Hope the cops aren't. Brutality. Failing to big. Falling victim to crime is a common part of daily life. If you come across a hostile situation, you can intervene. Well, yeah, I know about that. Uh, so rumor has the Naughty Dog is making a new IP that plays similar to ME2. Oh, Mass Effect, I see. Yeah, I do need to fin. I, I need to start Mass Effect 3, first of all. This year has been... Uh, I'm like a jack of all trades this year, and I think I've been stretching myself thin in too many different directions, which has been fun, and it's been good for diverse content, but the gaming that I planned on doing this year has kind of fallen short to, like, for one, I have a full-time job, so working, but also all the movies I go see, the social things I go do, and then the content, like, reaction, my, like, reaction videos on my channel have taken off a little bit, and then the movie reviews and everything else, book read-throughs too, so, but... Yeah, I heard that uh, Naughty, Dog, Naughty Dog also let some people go recently, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Similar to Mass Effect. Interesting. Branching narratives to Naughty Dog. I'd be curious to see how... Can I just fast travel? I feel like fast traveling might be the the best bet for me right... Oh, well, we're close enough. I can't fast travel. Assault in progress. How far away is the... Oh, forget it. Just... You can get sidetracked in Night City. Isn't the, the, there's a diner up here, right? No, I'm thinking of a different highway. Ah, there you are. I'd be curious to see how they handle it. I'm sure they'd handle it well. They can't. They don't miss, in my opinion, like Naughty Dog in general. It was supposed to be a Last of Us multiplayer game. Yeah, an article came out recently that said they they like shifted focus away from that now so they because because it's making a multiplayer game nowadays is a risky endeavor in just period like in general so i think they're getting second thoughts about the multiplayer and thinking of shifting their focus back to single player ips which are like their bread and butter Hiya, Porfin. So. let me hear what you squared away been waiting long my mother always said patience pays off so yeah, it seems to be dead, which is sad because I also like Na like Naughty Dog's uh, multiplayer content, but I, I get it. T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Yeah. Yeah, like multiplayer and asymmetrical multiplayer games it's really hard to get longevity there like even with the evil dead game i wanted to keep playing that and i might try to convince some friends to hop back in to like evil dead the game but they even announced on their like pro like social profiles that they're not going to be doing they're going to support the servers but i'm not going to be adding new content going forward which is in my opinion it's a damn shame but you know so dex already paid the maelstromers for the corpo bot thing is can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Mm-hmm. We'll buy it off him. LOL. Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway. Who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast Den? Sure, I'm ready. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Uh, evil, yeah, Evil Dead was asymmetrical. It was the whole, like, four survivors versus a deadite. In the first, like, week or two that it was out, I was playing a lot of it, and I enjoyed it, and you could, like, do either or. But then once the people found out what the meta was uh if you i mean people only wanted to be survivors you would get unless you really knew how to work the demons like the the kandarian demons you got bodied in multiplayer matches but i love evil dead so i enjoyed it i had fun with it but just the player base fell off and like any other asymmetrical type um granted dead by daylight still going strong but that's because they got in early and they like it because you can just keep on adding horror ips to it um but yeah, and then I used to play Overwatch, but nowadays, fuck Blizzard. I can't in good conscience support Blizzard or give them any more of my time, especially with how they've mishandled Overwatch 2. So 
I'm down to f get back into certain multiplayer games, but it's got to be like very specific ones. All right, come on, Jackie. Oh, oh, they're right here. That's right. All right, what's my loadout? I hate That's fine. fuckers. It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. True. Go on. Let them know we're here. Sure thing. <sighs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Sup? Cozy place. You could use a few plants, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a jail factory. <sighs> Gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. That's Militech, all right. Psycho boards. All foods, the future of meat. Not only are all foods products healthy and nutritious, they will feed our future. Soon, all foods will launch a pilot line of new products to complement the Easy Beef brand. This series of meat products will be based on flatworm cultures, which have been found to significantly help increase metabolism, slow weight gain, and cleanse the intestinal tract. We hope the flatworm initiative will usher in all foods' latest successful generation of meat products. Scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. This should be fun. What I still don't get is apparently when you're scanning, there's a way to just tap L1. Hello? And that's supposed to like let you do a quick scan, but not as of yet. Hello, boys. A goon. What if you just like went in ultra aggressive already? Hey, boys in there. Militech truck. But those cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. What's up? Spray paint. 75 years of cyberware. A century ago, losing a limb meant tragedy. It meant living with permanent disability, with severely reduced physical capability, and often with chronic pain. What's more, people with disabilities frequently suffered from widespread discrimination. Today, assuming the dismemberment victim is financially stable, loss of limb amounts to little more than a minor inconvenience. A century ago, employers could impose specific dress codes, hairstyle regulations, and piercing and tattoo bans. Many even pressed their employees to maximize productivity, often in violation of the law, such as through anti-pregnancy policies. At the time, however, deeper involvement with employees' bodies was simply impossible, legal or otherwise. But with the advent of cyberware, employers in the second half of the 21st century have imposed requirements for skin, bone, muscle, organ, and eye replacements in order to improve performance and workplace effectiveness. In extreme cases, security sector employees are commonly urged to undergo so-called full-body conversions or full cyborgization. Much has changed over the past 75 years from when cybernetic implants first hit the mass market. Many in the field of history of technology have argued cyberware is a positive force for progress, and many have argued the opposite. This book attempts to describe and contextualize the changes, for better or worse, that it has introduced to our professional and personal lives. How has cyberware led us to where we are today, and where is it taking us next? Why even bother taking the booze? Real well water. I keep got. I gotta remember the L1 is the scan and R1 is the grenade. Can't fuck it up. Sup, Jackie? Trilayer Steel Ocuset? Cozen Hailstormer for Halloween this year? 
Uh, it's a face. Sure. I mean, what is it? Just... Weapon zoom. Did I put it on? Oh, I guess yes, but also doesn't show up. Whatever. Weapon zoom, I'll take it. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. I don't even see those. Subtle. I should have scanned. Well, aren't we lucky? I guess you could just shoot your way in, right? Into the belly of the beast. All right. Um... Uh, the question is, do I want to try to make a copy and still use the data shard, or... I'm just going to go in with the data shard. I don't want to mess around with it too much. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. What's up? I see like a little thing I could pick up. Thought so. Oh, it's the same one. What? Yeah, it's the same one. Mm. So there's definitely going to be a, a potential shootout in here unless we just walk back out. Oh. All right, keep chill, V. Remember, we're on their turf. Yeah, but I'm also, so I am who I want? am. Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0-D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Okay. Now couch, planning. Sure. Won't be tense at all. Got that power stance, somebody. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard. Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Don't worry. Well, all right. Play it cool for now. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. What you blowing? Esky smoke and back clouds. Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Upstorps an adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip so intense it verges on psychosis. Corps fed it to their fighting legions during the corp wars. Hmm. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl. Yes, sir. Fuck yeah! Riding uh -huh. high. I'm on edge now. Here we go. Now we can talk. Here we go. The flathead. 
A flat head. Model LT0 D12. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium There's Voice back there. Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Oh, here we go. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on, can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Sure, sure. Pay twice then. Fine. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. You fucking deaf! Sure. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that. Without batting a fucking eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we're all friends here. I hand over the chip. You hand over the bot. Clean and easy, no complications. Look at this fucking Girl Scout. You know all your nods, got all your badges. <laughs> you, you betcha. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn, that's who. Dexter Deshawn. Yep. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica. <laughs> I mean, he ain't dead. So I'm gonna consider my offer now. Creds on this. <laughs> give it a give it a scan. I like how Jackie lets you take the lead though. Enjoy your little trip. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Good to know. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Chip's got a vector! They're breaking in! Here we go! Woo! Oh god. Oh, that was a weird angle. Where'd they go, on? Grab the gear. Bot and control shard. Quick! Uh, Gotta find the way out of here. Sounds good. Any idea how we could do that? Armored shutter. There's no way we're getting through that. Old ass factory, though. Found to be tech tunnels and shafts and shit all over the place. Can't hurt to try. Isn't what's his face like somewhere hidden in here too? Like brick? Then brick somewhere back here? Warning to from Royce to Brick. No, you're dodging me. We need to meet. Know what you're doing behind my back. Off the hook this time, but never try that shit again, Brick. It's a big fucking deal. Get you guys together. Hmm. Possible buyers. Bitch from the afterlife. Dex to Sean. If Walt's as fat as he is. Mr. Hands, no contact. Voodoo boys. Stop contacting the mole. We're in deep shit. The mole? Militech. Huh? Legendary Solo? Every kid with a big iron, a synth leather coat, and a micro missile launcher thinks they're a hot shot solo. But are you the Han Solo? 
Oh wait, what's that? Oh shit. Got a bunch of good equipment. Tech weapons. Piercing. Oh, oh. Well, how do you charge a shot? Let me look. Uh, pistola, revolver, submachine gun. Oh, I see. A tech submachine gun. Charge time, headshot damage. Uh, sure. Give it a go. Nice. So I'm guessing charge is... Oh, hold R2. Nice. Give it a go. Yeah, all the weapons feel really great to, like, use. Got the set. Sick. Bot and controller. And let's go. Ricochet weapons. Power weapons allow you to control the direction of bullet ricochets. If you have the draw the draw the line perk, that's new. And the ballistic co-processor co cyberware installed. Okay. Let's get out of here. Sorry. But unless I'm mistaken, isn't Brick held in captive in here somewhere? I forget how you have access to him. And then what Royce is tucked away in here somewhere, right? Oh, another gun. Broken. Can't sell it or anything. Okay. Hang on. So wait, I'm curious. Cyberpunk. I'm only looking all this stuff up because I've played through the game before. Cyberpunk, where to find brick? Where to find brick? In what looks like a small closet in the second big combat room. Left side of the room has two elevated subrooms of glass windows. Doors right between them. How to? All right, so brick's not in this room. That's that's good. Just wanted to make sure. Whoops. <laughs> It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. A thousand beats a second. Can't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought oh, it's a it's a it's a book, right? Just a romance novel. Really, no other way. Uh, laptop. Marketing issue. Oh, from actual people that worked here. What problem with the direction of this ad? I won't pass the focus group with flying colors. What do we hope to achieve by advertising milk? <laughs> like, I'm not fully prepared to drop the milk project just yet, despite your first impressions. We've actually put quite a lot of thought into this campaign. <laughs> Born forever young. It's going to watch your back. Yada yada. It's funny. It's a little bit of a lore here and there. The unnecessary world building. Well, for me, it's necessary. Sick. Turn on the production line to clear the passage. Oh, good. Let's move it. Let's go. Escape from all foods. Let's do this. Vámonos. here yet. Music, though. Oh, good. It lets you peek out from behind cover. Speaker. Hacking. Hmm. How long to deliver charges? What? Who? Where? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 
Jackie Well. Shit. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. It's like a cool little gold gun, too. hell is that? Oh, he's behind a fucking window, huh? Damn it. Damn. I'm trying to remember how to play. Oh, great. You guys would stop hacking me. Damn. How do you... Wrong button. Where'd he go? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Come on. Damn. There we go. I thought it said failure. Oh, he's using the cameras? Where is this guy? The SMG is working pretty well. What? Who now? Yeah, I should have approached this a bit better than I did. But I forget they can hack you back. Crowbar. Progression shards. Cyberware capacity increased. Oh, what from looting? Oh, you can't scan him. That didn't hurt him either? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact that he's alive with the sound of music, huh? God. Whoops. Right back at you. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, okay. Gosh, he's still alive, huh? God damn. I want to do more hacking, but at the same time, I'm worried that I'm gonna... Uh...
Damn. So you gotta have a clear line of sight. You know who you're messing with. Bruh. I'm trying to. I guess I don't have the melee stuff. That, well, I do have the. I do have melee weapons. I'm just not using them. Jackie. I'm empty. Need to reload. Get back. Bruh. Oh man, what are we doing here? Shots, but <laughs> bastards are tough. You know who you're messing with. There we go. Jesus. Okay, I forgot, I forgot I can destroy the cameras. Just trying to remember how to play. Definitely not the most effective way. Ah, oh, okay. Where's big boy being being held, huh? I wonder if you can stealth all this. I mean, they're already on high alert, right? Uh, nice. Oh shit, I forgot. Uh, power revolver. I can sell some of this shit, yeah. A way to free brick. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. Yeah. How do, how do we know, though? Is brick somewhere nearby? Escape from all foods. Before I do... Where, where's brick? It says it's some. It said it's somewhere in here, in what looks like a small closet in the second big combat room. The left side of the room has two elevated subrooms with glass windows, and his door is right between them. Two elevated subrooms. Who's talking? Oh, the ad. Was it the previous rooms that we were in? Two elevated sub rooms right here. The door is right between them. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, let's get him out of there. How are we going to get in? Can I hack it? Um... There's something on him, though. Is that a turret? Move an inch away from this laser. I'm ground beef. It's linked to a mine. Can I talk to him? 
How? Wait, I can't disarm? I'm brick, yeah? I'm brick. Royce did this? The twisted fuck. So I, I ha- that's the only way I can disarm the trap is if I was tech savvy enough. Um... Cyber- let me check- let me check. Cyberpunk. Uh, how to save Brick. Is there any other way? How do you save Brick? Hmm. The pit, there's a pickup quest and you can come back later. Can you save Brick without um, disarming the mine? That's the question. How to free Bick and disarm the trap. Is there any other way to do it? Uh, how to disarm the trap preventing Brick's escape. Disarm the trap, set him free. There are a few ways to do this. One is by disarming the mine. Look at it and provide you have enough tributes. You should be able to disable. Otherwise, you can find the detonator. Leave the room. Otherwise, you can find the detonator. Leave the room and enter the door immediately to the left. On one side is the detonator. Oh, you can pick it up and disarm the charge. Okay, cool. That's I like it. There's multiple options. said room on the left. Oh. Surveillance system. Turn off. Messages. That's not it. Where's the detonator? Is it over there? Oh, there it is. Detonator. Armed. Set off charge. No, disarm. Sick. Okay, cool. God. Felt like a fucking eternity, this. Been in here a while? Few days. Kinda lost count. Some guys loyal enough to care slip me stuff. Tried to help out. Royce threw him in the microwave dryer. Made me watch. This is kind of your fault we're here. Came for some tech deck spot. He tell you to free me? No, just to pick up the bot. Classic fucking Dex. Hmm. <laughs> Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we're do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, man. <laughs> I'll get you, but kind of caught me at a bad time. All right, but we ever meet again. I'll have you covered. But. Cool. Yeah, unless you know, it doesn't make the object. I mean, they put it up as an optional objective, but I you gotta, like, be very observant, I guess. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Now, there are mines somewhere, right? nothing Got intruders. Go scope out 
the garage entrance. See anything? Don't start spinning the till you let the rest of us know. And you head to the warehouse. Gotta watch Bro, I thought, I thought by taking control of the cameras, I turned them off. Oh my god. Whatever, man. Ow. Oh, whatever, man. gonna happen whatever I thought I could cut through oh my god bro I'm a lot of hell. I might t touch it down in difficulty, honestly. Oh, of course. Great. Like they shoot through being shot. Oh, dead. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm probably going to, because it's gonna it's gonna become less fun over time. I'm gonna take it down just a tiny bit, because I'm puss puss apparently. Uh, I'll wait till after this then, I guess. Playtime's over. Big time is over. That right? Smell your fear. I haven't even found a sniper rifle yet. Oh, oh. Bueno, el chingado se está separando. Bro, where'd she go? Uh oh, oh god, a whole room full of them, huh? Who? Where? How? Say your fucking... uh, you know who you're messing with? There's so many different ways to approach this. smart weapons uh what exactly oh god hang on well the smg i'm not a, uh, this submachine gun's all right but what else do i have here assault rifle the sidewinder smart links have required to enable smart targeting which i don't have yet apparently um revolver i should give it a go you have a Oh, I see. So I, I have to have the attachment. My bad. Got him. Oh, oh, I didn't get him. There we go. Jesus. Okay, so change the assault rifle. Because it's literally pointless unless you have that attachment. So... Uh, okay, um, I could try this revolver out. Our revolver damage multiplier for the headshot. Let, let tell you what, let's get the sub machine there, and then for the pistol, I'll try out the revolver. See how that goes. Oh, 
these broken guns. And you can just play this in the middle of all the, <laughs> the, the carnage. Anything to pick up? Man, you would think. Not far now, chica. Exit close. Use tech ability. Can't do anything else to open it up. Damn. I guess I I need more tech in this one. I mean, should I spec a little bit into tech? Probably gonna be a good idea to do that. Gearhead. Oh, vehicle health. That's helpful. Glutton for war. Yeah, I probably should do more in a tech, if I'm being real. Hmm. Sand of a stand. While driving. Scorpion stain. Let's do focus. Pistols, revolvers, precision rifles. Yes. Probably for the best. We're gonna have to fight Royce before we get out of here, right? Will this open the door, maybe? What the hell are these? Grenades? Can I not take the grenades? Uh, I feel like that's busted, but okay. Oh, whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got nothing I can do. Bro, what? Oh Lord. Simon Royce Randall. That <laughs> sounds intense. Oh, I love the laser burn marks. Oh, well, so much for ammo for that, though. I'm trying. I'm almost out of ammo everywhere. Oh, God damn. Whoa. I think I'm all out of ammo. <laughs> oh God. So that come right at me too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm all out of ammo. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, all right, where'd he go? Uh, buddy, where'd he go? <laughs> I'm trying. Please run. Jackie, what are you doing, man? Damn. Shit. Uh, do I have any other ammo? 
Am I out? For real? For real? Woo! Damn. God damn. I mean, that's working. Is there other ammo lying around? That I'm just missing? Can I go back here? Nope. I think I'm just about out. Ouch. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's some ammo. There we go. Please run. Oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to get like the, the angle on him. Not bad. Damn. Almost got him. Grenade should help. Whoops. Oh god. Oh man, it's at 3%. <laughs> oh, there you got him. Nice. Sick. <laughs> it's money on him too. Chaos tech pistol. I don't have the tech for it yet, though, right? Oh, I looted him. I'll worry about the, the upgrade later. I have to end the stream soon, anyhow. What's up? They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Why? Per our arrangement. That's the gate. We can talk there. You didn't expect to see me here. Sure. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Guess so. Pleasure doing business. Secure the area. Sick. Time we were on our way, Mamita. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. It was fun, though. Busted our way out. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure... You know. We're good together. I like how we do things. Mm. I do too, V. Good thing nothing bad will ever happen to Jackie. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Yeah, yeah. Hi luego, V. I'll see ya. Now let's fill Dex in real quick. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the military? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corpo trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems, scorched a handful of Maelstromers, 
I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Miss V. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Sounds good. Cool. Bunch of points. Now I definitely want to get tech up a little bit more just so I can do stuff. Um probably a good idea to have six there. But then I still want to make sure cool is like uh, I'm playing cool reflexes. Um I'll worry about the rest later. Let's do uh let's get ten into cool. Perfect. All right, I got to cut the stream off there. Unfortunately, got to go do this, that, and the other. But to everybody who popped in during the stream, uh, appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for coming back along for this Cyberpunk uh, redo journey with a 2.0 patch. It's fun so far. No big glitches, nothing that's crashed the game. So here for it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And goodbye, travelers.